Crews in Pinellas County have been hard at work over the last few months restoring the beaches that were hard hit by Hurricane Adalia. Now they are back at it, assessing the newly restored dunes that were put to the test during those storms over the weekend. Fox 13's Kaylee Tracy joins us live from Indian Rocks Beach with more on how the storm could affect that renourishment efforts there. Kaylee. Well, Haley, those dunes took a beating again, as you can see here behind me. And just four months after Hurricane Idalia, our coast had a severe setback. This is what the dunes looked like at Indian Rocks Beach a couple of weeks ago, as crews worked to restore them after Hurricane Idalia's damage. This is what those new dunes that crews finished building just last week look like today. It was very surprising to see that much gone. The storm over the weekend severely damaged a lot of the progress made by Pinellas County's emergency dune restoration project. They did a fantastic job. They're trying to protect it. It's just, uh, again, the fighting Mother Nature. Pinellas County's Public Works Director, Kelly Hammer-Levy, says crews were out Sunday and Monday surveying damage. And so far, the most extensive damage is at the northern beaches. Everybody has been working really hard for the last four months, um, you know, some six days a week. Uh, so it's just, it's very hard to see all that work. Um, at the same time, I'm glad it was there for those folks who would have taken pretty much a direct hit had they not been there. She says after crews finish assessing the damage, they'll determine whether or not to knock down some of those drop offs or if they need to bring in more sand. Right now, we don't really we don't have a, a plan for that as of yet because we really need to understand how much we lost volume wise. Um, visually, it's it's pretty dramatic, um, but that doesn't necessarily tell us the entire picture. Hammer Levy says they're looking at areas that they may need to stabilize, including several beach accesses that are like sand cliffs and are closed. So we really want people if you're going to the beach to, you know, stay on the on the hard packed sand, stay off the dunes and um, just be careful. The last leg of the emergency restoration project was set to start Monday in Indian Shores. Crews were assessing damage there too from the storm and getting ready for trucks to bring sand in Tuesday. And again, officials are asking that you please be careful if you come out here to the beach and you stay off the dunes and also stay away from, again, those beach accesses that are like hanging cliffs like some of the ones here behind me. And the tourist development tax was used to pay for the emergency beach restoration project. County officials say as far as what will pay for uh, fixing the damages from this past storm it is undetermined right now. But we'll keep you updated. Back to you. All right, Kaylee, thank you.